Hey guys, and welcome to Upfront Gaming News. So this week, week 17, I don't know, I'm losing track. We're in our, we're in our fifth month. I know that much. Uh, so it, we've run into uh, um, quite a bit of news on the PlayStation front this week. Uh, and just as much from Xbox as well. Uh, Nintendo is pretty slim. Um, but they didn't really have a whole lot going on uh, that I was able to find uh, for this week. So um, let's just jump into it. So for PlayStation's um, trailer this week, uh, we chose Days Gone. It is a PlayStation exclusive. Um, and it was between that and Mortal Kombat 11. But Mortal Kombat 11 is coming out for the other two platforms as well. And to be honest with you, Xbox pickings were slim this week. So it made it really easy to utilize Mortal Kombat 11's trailer for them. So, without further ado, let's jump into Days Gone, the trailer. Check it out. You know, we never talked about it. While we still wore the colors. this time out in the freak show when shit like this didn't matter anymore. And we wrote out a farewell without Sarah. I knew that we were leaving everything behind. What did you do? Everything that mattered was gone. Folks here in a lot of pain, Deke. You find his stash. You bring it to me. To me, Dick. You do that, we'll see what we can do for you. Dick, Dick, bro, bro. And I know what kind of man he is. What he's done. He done any worse than you? Ricky? How about me? You're afraid to be here. You're afraid to be a part of something. We need you here, and that scares the hell out of you. We have to look out for each other. That is all we got. You could have saved a few lives. There was no hope, there was no time, there was no room, okay? There was, we'd already turned on each other when the hordes arrived. Ah! Hope you're right about your old lady, Deke. You gotta ask yourself, what does it matter if everyone else is dead? Alright guys, so that was the Days Gone trailer. I'm super excited. I have that uh, pre-ordered, so I'll be picking that up. I believe it is Thursday or Friday? Friday. Um, when it releases on the 26th. So um, let's just jump into PlayStation's news. So there's a major PS5 reveal from PlayStation's Mark Cherney. Um, not going to release in 2019. So for those of you that were hoping it would come out this year, it's not going to happen. Sorry. Uh, this has been confirmed uh, by Sony as all the other data in this uh, piece for this week is also been confirmed by Mark Cerny. Uh, so, not gonna release in 2019. Uh, it will have a, an appealing price for uh, what is being put into it. And so that's all they're saying in reference to price. We don't really know what that means yet. Uh, however, we will very soon. So, um, appealing price will include 3rd Gen 8 core AMD Ryzen CPU and an AMD Navi GPU. Uh, we kind of already had that idea uh, a couple months ago, but now it's been confirmed. It will support 8K resolution. Uh, so all you with 4K TVs, you're still welcome to use those. But once you purchase an 8K, it will also support 8K resolution going forward. Uh, it will include backwards cap or compatibility, which has been a huge topic of discussion, and I think that is great because there's a lot of PS4 titles 
that I may not have uh, fully finished at that point, and I would rather have one system to just play all my games. So rather than get rid of the games that I've not played or played through on the PS4, I can then play them on the PS5. So that is very appealing for me because I'm one of the per one of the people that will purchase upon release, and uh, it's what I've done every time. As a matter of fact, my PS4 still works great. It was a first gen release. Um, so anyway, that's just me. Um, ultra fast solid state drive. They haven't released um, how big that drive is going to be, but. Uh, it has been confirmed that it will be solid state, which is great. Um, PS5 and PSVR, that relationship will continue from the PS4 um, with improvements. We have heard about uh, PSVR, PSVR 2.0 and uh, it being wireless, etc. Uh, I don't know about you. If you do have a PSVR now, um, good on you, but I refuse to buy one until it goes wireless just because... I don't want the extra wires attached to my system and uh, running around the house with them. Like, I just don't want to do it. So uh, PSVR 2.0 uh, being wireless, when that releases, I'll definitely check that out and see uh, whether or not they've got that all squared away and, and that it looks as good as I've heard. So um, ray tracing is going to be uh, a part of the PS5 as well, which is a very good thing, according to uh, Wired Magazine. They, uh, we'll see. Um, or the tech blog, I should say. Uh, and then the 3D audio processor um, that's going to be also in the PS5 to make sound a lot uh, a lot better, or so they say. So um, that's it, but this was all... Um, through Wired's tech blog and Mark Cherney at PlayStation. So uh, if you had any questions before about what was being rumored, uh, these are the things that we're able to confirm. And we'll be able to confirm more as we go forward. So stay tuned because we will definitely be looking at this as it moves into later 2019. Um, Last piece of news for PlayStation, Final Fantasy VII uh, and Square Enix are going to do a live concert the day before E3. This could suggest a remake for PC and PlayStation as Sony still owns the rights for uh, Final Fantasy VII. Uh, so, one, it's the day before E3, so that's great. Um, it allows you to get there and have an extra day if you enjoyed the series uh, to delve into the music from Final Fantasy VII and get into that concert. Uh, it is happening during the Bethesda conference, uh, so if you planned on being at that, uh, you're going to have to miss it in order to take part. And they are selling tickets now, um, but the tickets were $77.77. Imagine that. Uh, so that's it on PlayStation for this week. So let's jump into Xbox. Um, Xbox's trailer, as stated earlier, is going to be Mortal Kombat 11. Check it out. Is it possible that the past and future are colliding? Only Kronika has such power. I intend to restart history. Let the new era begin. Raiden's armies are coming. They will fight us, and they will lose. Well, we're in the shit now. Let's find Kronika's keep and strike it as hard and as fast as we can muster. 
We defend Kronika as she rewrites history. Yippee ki right? <laughs> So that was Mortal Kombat 11. Uh, very excited also picking that up on Tuesday. And I'm going to be doing a full-on review for our end of the month video on Mortal Kombat 11 for this month. So our April special at the end of the month is Mortal Kombat 11. So if you're looking forward to a review on that before you purchase it, by all means tune in on the last day of the month right here on upfront games. Um, so going forward into Xbox, uh, now that Mortal Kombat's done coming out, um, they have a lot more other news. Uh, so Warhammer Chaos Bane's second closed beta is live until the 24th. To play, you have to pre-order the game. You can play as four different characters, uh, cooperatively or solo, locally or online. Uh, there's 70 different enemy types and new weapons and armor. So if you're interested in Warhammer and Chaos Bane uh, and you really were wanting to get involved in one of these betas, you only have another three days to pre-order. And if I were you, I'd pre-order now so I can get the most out of my experience if you haven't already. Uh, it's been live since the 18th and again will close on the 24th. So... Uh, the other big news and final news for Xbox this week, um, Xbox Fan Fest. So 700 fans will win the chance to experience the brief uh, Fan Fest showcase and more. Um, it begins June 9th and 10th, the days before E3. E3 is the 11th uh, through the 14th, I want to say, maybe 15th. Um, but the days before, that's uh, Xbox Fan Fest. Uh, ticketing is a drawing, which submission went live April 19th, but closes on the 24th. 300 winners will be chosen. It's $45, and they can purchase two tickets to the event. Uh, the event includes, obviously, like you said, the brief Fan Fest. When you get into the brief, it's uh, preferred seating, so that's kind of cool. Um, you get into E3 for three days, uh, so a lot of good things go with it. There is a goodie bag uh, with a lot of stuff in it that they're not mentioning. Um, however, uh, again, that is drawing. If you want to be a part of it, all you need is a gamer tag. Uh, go sign up for it, and if chosen, you can purchase up to two tickets uh, at $45 a piece. Uh, so look out for that if you're interested. And by all means, um, go ahead and submit. Can never hurt, right? All right. So you got uh, three more days for that as well. And uh, let's go ahead and jump into Nintendo for this week. Nintendo, like I said, pretty slim this week. Um, but let's jump into the trailer for Nintendo first. Uh, it's called Truberbrook, and uh, it's pretty interesting like uh, multi-dimension uh, type game uh, it's from German uh, creators or so it seems so um, go ahead and check out the trailer sometimes feel that everything is just about to happen while all of it has already been decided yes Stranded in the middle of nowhere. Mr. Tannhauser? Step right up. How do you know my name? It's a small town. The people around here are nice, but also a little weird, don't you think? Now that you mention it. Well, you can imagine it as a rift, a junction in space-time. The real world. Its outlines become somewhat twisted, warped, 
Like, say, an insubstantial, incorporal blackness? Exactly. How do you know that? I think I've seen it. If you look at the northern pole of Saturn, you will recognize that shape. The hexagon. Your world is going to collapse. Everything will collapse. You have to see the whole picture. If I could just open your eyes. guys so that was Truber Brook um, again pretty interesting multi-dimensional uh, sort of adventure game or so it seems uh, it's kind of hard to tell um, but it does look interesting to say the least um, so again Nintendo pretty short uh, two very uh, slim things that I was able to find this week uh, first off EA will not be releasing Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order on Switch. So if you were looking forward to a Star Wars fix on Switch through Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, I'm not going to get it, sorry. Um, EA confirmed that via Twitter, as well as um, the statement being made that if you want a Star Wars fix on Switch, the only one that you're going to get for now is the uh, Zen Pinball Star Wars on Switch. Sorry guys. Um, so 13 is a Ubisoft cell shaded first person shooter that originally launched in 2003. Uh, it's being remade for Switch, PS4, and Xbox and will release November 13th. Uh, go ahead and look at the trailer if you'd like. There's not really a whole lot there. It looks kind of like a uh, James Bond intro video. Um, but it is a first person shooter and it does look like it could deliver a pretty interesting storyline once they start releasing more trailers about gameplay, etc. Uh, but that's it as far as um, Nintendo is concerned for the week, guys. So, as usual, like, subscribe, um, send it out to your friends, and uh, check us out next week. But uh, if you have any questions, comments, Leave them below, and you know I enjoy doing this every week, and we're gonna continue and expand the news uh, the best we can. Hopefully, we'll start getting some um, some out of the box stuff uh, going forward, especially as we get closer to E3 um, to give you guys. So uh, again, stay tuned for a Mortal Kombat 11 review uh, at the end of the month, and obviously I, we've got one more. Uh, weekend so we'll have uh, week 18's video up and uh, by all means stay tuned enjoy and hope to see you soon have fun guys and thank you again for tuning in to Upfront Gaming News <laughs>